And welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you guys cannot already tell from the title of this video, today is just gonna be a fun little day in my life. I've been wanting to film one of these for a while now because my life has gotten so crazy in like the last month. Like with AP exams coming up, I've just had a bunch of like extracurricular things going on and every single day has just felt like go, 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 like no stop for me. It's uh, a little hard to get the time to film YouTube videos Videos. I thought that it would just be fun to do like a day in my life like showing you guys what a crazy day in my life looks like. Today is a weekend though so it's not gonna be as crazy as like a school day might be. Uh, what is on the plan for today is it's 9 30 and I have to be at track practice at 10 o'clock. I'm going to be practicing hurdles and hopefully I'll be able to get some good clips on here um, of me running, of me practicing and warming up and everything. And then I'm actually going to go thrift shopping because literally, I don't know if it's just me, retail therapy, it's real guys. I swear, I know like in a lot of my day in my life, I go thrifting. I do not go thrifting that often. It's really just more of like a every couple weeks type thing. And I do have an AP exam next week. So wish me luck. I have to study for that. So I'm gonna come home and I'm gonna study. And hopefully my friend is gonna be coming over to study with me because she also has the same exam that I'm taking, which if any of you guys are also in AP bio, <sighs> I pray, I pray for us all. I hope we all get a five, honestly. So that's kind of the plan today. I'm also going to be showing you guys the hammies, obviously, probably tonight, and cleaning out their wheels and spot cleaning their cages and stuff. Sorry this intro was super long, but let's just go ahead and get on to the main portion of the video. I need to braid my hair because it's looking a little cray cray right now. Guys, hair is nice and braided. Hoping y'all can see that the best as possible. I don't even know. So yeah, now it's time for me to go to track because it starts in 20 minutes and they like us to get there 10 minutes early. So I'm gonna go run and do that. To the track, gonna go get some practice in. <sighs> Hoping everything goes well today and I get a good So I'm back in the car now. I just finished a good hour and a half of track practice. So that was really good. And I hope you guys enjoyed those clips of me hurdling. I think it went okay, considering I got my second COVID shot yesterday. So I feel a little achy, but overall, I think it went pretty well. Um, I'm really trying to improve on my speed and getting like fast over the hurdle. Since I already have my purse, I think I'm gonna swing by the Salvation Army and then I'm gonna go home and get lunch. Let's go thrift shopping. I love thrift shopping. Okay, let's go. Okay guys, so I just got out of the thrift store and I low-key spent way too long in there. Like I just, I went in there thinking I was gonna like find everything that I wanted and I didn't, but honestly I didn't really go in there with like a specific game plan of like what I exactly wanted. I did get several items and I'm gonna go ahead and show them to you guys in the car. Hoping no one will like see me in here just vlogging, but the first thing that I'm really excited about is like this leather jacket. Um, I'm sorry, it's kind of hard for you guys to see. It's very oversized, it's very big. It's kind of heavy actually, and it was, I believe, $8.99, so $9, which is kind of 
super expensive for a thrift store because normally I would expect it to be like between three and four dollars but it is a leather jacket so I understand it's in really good condition I have been wanting to get one of these because my favorite fashion inspiration like youtuber that I watch and she's also on TikTok. her name is Kate Brock I am her biggest fan in terms of her fashion inspo. I just love all of her outfits. And she always pairs a lot of her outfits with like a big, chunky, oversized leather jacket. So I wanted to get one and I found it and it's in like a brown, black color. Then I got some of these little shorts. Again, this is something she always wears. And they're just like these tan khaki shorts, which I think are gonna be great for summer. And we're wearing with a crop top. And then I got tennis skirt. I actually just ordered a white tennis skirt from Depop. And I don't know, I just love the color. It's really cute. It's pretty short, but like it has built-in shorts so it doesn't feel like revealing at all. And I just think this is gonna be really fun and cute for summer. And I'm just really excited about it, you know? It's like a velvet, like blue basic hoodie. And it's kind of like, it's not super long, but it, the, um sleeves fit me perfectly and i think this is going to be good just for like if it gets a little chilly in the morning i can throw this on over just an outfit or whatever very simple but i thought it was a good find and it fits me really well then the last thing this is actually something that i really wanted to get was just this basic dad shirt i showed you guys one of these in my last thrift haul but i didn't end up getting it because it was like ten dollars at the place and i just thought like that's kind of expensive when i could get it for four at salvation army so uh kate brock again always wears this girl i'm sorry i am like stealing this girl's brand but i love her outfits like i already mentioned now that i got out of thrifting it was such so much fun and i kind of want to go to another thrift store but i think i'm going to call it good for now i'm going to go home get some lunch and probably call my friend over and we're going to do a bit of studying a little study sesh I'm sitting outside right now on my screen and porch and I just ate some lunch, but now I have my AP Bio book and I'm gonna start studying. My friend is gonna get here around three, but I really don't have a whole lot to do other than study today, so I feel like I should probably get this done, unfortunately. My doggy is so happy, Oh. So I've been asking you for a couple of videos if you want to see my dog and this is her. Her name is Molly girl. She's so cute. She just ran and uh, played in the grass so she's kind of dirty um, but we're just gonna ignore that. <laughs> so I just continued studying for about I would say like half the day almost. And I had my hood on because there was literally a fly chasing me. And I apologize. I have such RBF when I'm studying, guys. It's bad. I just made myself a bowl of just some bananas and some strawberries. And I'm going to eat this as I finish up practicing my last FRQ. Because I'm trying to do a couple of practices um, for my exam, like I already told you guys. And so after, I'm actually going to do some crafting and I'm going to show you guys how to make these really cute rings. We're going to go ahead and get started on the DIY. So this is the DIY that I was telling you guys about. It's pretty much just these really cute like jelly looking rings and they were like super like TikTok viral um, like a month ago or something when I saw one pop up um, on my TikTok for you page. And so I actually ordered like this ring sizer from Amazon and I got this because I want to start making these rings to sell on my Depop because I think that they're super cute. And I think that a lot of people would like them and they're super easy to make as well. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make them today for this video. So, all that you need is a flat iron slash straight iron, some pony beads, which you can just get like a pack like this from Michaels. And some people do use parchment paper, 
so that beads will not stick to their straightener. But luckily, my straightener, for whatever reason, the beads don't stick to it. So you can easily just pull the beads off and then um, once they're melted and then, then wrap them around something round. And you'll also need something round and you'll also need tweezers because um, when you're putting the beads on the straightening iron, they will be very hot. All right, so my straightening iron is heating up and it literally heats up super quick. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick out the colors that I'm gonna use. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do just like a big rainbow one. Now, the next thing that you do once you get yours lined up is you're just gonna put them in a line on the straightening iron. All of the beads are lined up on the straightening iron and now I'm just going to clamp it down and hold it on there until they flatten. Okay, so you guys can see they're now flat. They're now completely flat. It's time for me to pull them off with my tweezers. Gotta do that kind of quick. And then with something round, you're just going to place it on and round it around it. Let's see? Just hold it on once you get the beads wrapped around until it's cold. And if you don't have one of these ring sizers, it's totally okay. Just find something like a chapstick and you can just wrap the, be the beads around the chapstick. Okay, so I think that that is done and there you guys go. It's so cute. I just finished another one. Super cute. I will definitely be selling these on my De Depop by the time that this is uploaded. So definitely go check them out if you want to buy one. I think I'm going to be pricing them for pretty cheap, probably like $2 if not, maybe a little bit more. But I think that they're super cute and really easy to make at your house, honestly. Like you don't even really, like you could easily make this yourself, so. So after I finished making those really cute rings, I decided that I wanted to just do a little bit of reading. And so I'm currently reading the book Ever Lost. It's such a good book, so if you're looking for a book to read, I would definitely suggest it. And then after that, I had some dinner, which was a vegetarian sausage, a potato with some cottage cheese and lettuce. And then we watched one of my favorite movies, Forrest Gump. I love that movie so much. And yeah. Trying some ice cream as we watch Top Chef, baby. And the hammies are out and they want to say hello. There's Rhino and here's Chandler. Hello, buddies. My battery on this camera is dying, so hopefully I can still give you guys a couple of cute clips of them. Hello, Chan Man. I always like to call Chandler Chan Man. And then Rhino is Rhinesters. I don't know about you guys, but I am always giving like my friends and like my hamsters and stuff. All of them have a little nickname that I like to call them by. I do think that I will probably be cleaning out the cages tomorrow. I know I'm gonna be cleaning out Chandler's wheel tonight, but I will probably be doing a fuller cage clean of this cage if he wants to eat off my hand. So cute. Then I cleaned the hamster wheels. Okay, so my battery camera died, or my battery, my camera battery died, and so I just decided to take Chandler out, and I wanted to get that on video for you guys. I just decided I would take him out for a little couch playtime. He's decided to go statue on me. He was just running around a bunch. He's okay, buddy. He's so cute. He's definitely, he definitely seems less stressed than when, than Rhino is when he is running around. Um, so that's good. That's why I try to take him out a lot. Cause he just seems so cute and so ready to play, you know? So yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a day in my life. Um, this was honestly like a true just day in my life like this is just like a weekend in my life where I go to track and then I study and um, Yeah, honestly everything so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching And I'll see you guys in the next one Chandler says bye um, is